Ready, go! Alrighty, ladies and gents, welcome to another YouTube video. I'm always excited when I jump on YouTube and see that Larry Wheels has posted a video, in particular when Larry Wheels posts a video about arm wrestling. Now, I haven't watched this video yet, but it is titled, What Six Weeks of Arm Wrestling Training Can Do Before and After. Um, it's kind of crazy when I, I, I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen it yet, but Larry Wheels, and it kind of blows my mind. Has it, it's been, Surely it's been way more than six weeks, but I think we're gonna see Larry test out some specific lifts and he's gonna, I think he even is gonna make mention of um, his pathways to competing and all that. But anyway, I wanted to watch the video. Like I said, it's literally the first time the video is gonna be uh, seen by myself. Um, very interesting topic, so I wanna watch it with you guys and I want to um, kind of add some flavor to it as I watch it and break anything interesting down. Um, but anyway, I'm excited. I hear it's a good video, so let's check it out. <laughs> Side note, I think it's awesome that Larry is into arm wrestling now. So here we go, what six weeks of arm wrestling training can do. What's up guys, Larry Wheels here. Here at Benos, best pipe in gym in Dubai. So, I have been on Coach Ray's program for approximately six weeks and I feel that I've made really big progress. The catch is that I've been doing the movements at a different gym using a different weight style. So, here I am where I originally did the test with Levon and Michael and also when Igor Mazarenko first arrived to Dubai. First exercise that I'm going to try and see where my wonder max is and if I have or haven't improved is the finger strength Mazarenko test. I grab a big fat handle, pull it down, keep the wrist straight. And my previous best was on this machine, 42.5. But we did use a suitcase calculator and it's about a kg and some change off. So Adam will have the correct weight in the lower thirds. Let's make it happen. 45, which technically according to you is 43 and a half. Yeah. Well, this is the infamous pulley where they got it wrong. Hopefully Larry doesn't start stacking weights on top and getting the, the pulley calculation wrong again. Come on. Oh. Um, we know that this machine is a kilo and a half out from real weight. Um, but any additional weight that he puts on top of the stack, he's going to have to divide by two. Hopefully he does that. But here's the, this is the old footage. He moved it. You got it off there. Yeah. No, no, he, he set his elbow down. Yeah, so what? I've, I've used okay. this handle before. Um, All right, so far, actually so good. a video with myself, Quarter Jordan Davis, down. and Devin Larrick. Doing this time with, um, Devin visited like, a few yeah, years ago. And 42 is a good number a KG on this handle. Off. It really is. Yeah, doing 33, nice and comfy. Okay, this is a heavy sack. <laughs> this is a heavy sack. Now we're gonna jump straight for the win, which would be, uh, I don't know what that is. Actually. You, you know what you can do? This, right? uh, you can have, uh, yeah, Sharif, you just pull it with two hands. What was it? This is 42. 42, okay. It's a heavy sack, yeah? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. God. It's heavy, it is heavy. Which is what makes it more insane. Levon did 81 kg here. Yeah. He did. Oh, sorry, we had the weights wrong. So he actually did with that. Uh, the additional weight cut in half. So he did a lot more than my yeah, exactly. There we go. So Larry <laughs> knows <laughs> about the additional yeah. weight cutting half. That's good. I'm glad he's picked up on that. Good stuff. Uh, anyway, 40.5 kilos. Look at that comfy stuff. Okay, yeah. so far so good. Comfy that was my previous stuff. best. That was 42.5 on here, which is, yeah, it's like 41, because it's like a case shield. Yeah. Um, let's just go for the whole stack, why not? Oh. Uh, what's that? What's, what this is that? Uh, 52.5. 52 pounds. Yeah. Go for 52. He's going for a nine. Um, what was he? 52.5 kg. 52.5 kg is going for a, a, a 10 kilo jump up. So I did. On a specific lift here. Break my previous best. Neurological efficiency is a wonderful Sorry, thing. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get it. I have no idea, but um, 
becoming familiar with movements does make a massive difference and he's been co using Coach Ray's program as he said, so here we go, 51 kilos he's going for. So like a nine kilo <laughs> increment <laughs> gain, can he do it? <laughs> Oh, you're doing it as well. I want to back him. I want to say he's going to do it. I want to say he's going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no, I'm going to take it back. He's not going to do it. <laughs> oh, he does it easy. Oh, yes. yeah. oh. Nice. Nice. Man, he, he, so that that's a significant improvement. Like 10 kg. Okay. So that is, well, obviously a very significant improvement. Mm -hmm. Because only about six weeks I've been training with this handle. Um, there probably is a little more left in me. So, that's amazing. yeah, we'll just add a 10 kg plate on top. Which will be an additional 5 kg pack. Perfect. Because you're adding the 10 kg yeah. plate on top, which means that? it's an additional 5 kg weight. Left hand. They oh, got the yeah, physics I never down. Try my left hand with this. That's right. Good on you, Larry. No controversy today from Did Ryan Bowen on? on lifts so and numbers. <laughs> oh, all right. So he's for like 55 or 56 kilos he's going for here. While my right hand takes a rest, let's see what I can do left hand. Oh, what happened? We didn't see it. We're, we're going to the left. Oh, wow. When we left, we're struggling with 36. <laughs> Got it. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. Did that feel harder? Uh, you know, yeah. It's not as coordinated, for sure. Okay. And I have made definitely, definitely, when I'm, I've been training both hands, much more improvement on the right and the left. They both improved. <clears throat> So this is probably even worse. Sounds like he's tempted to do this, the so giant pumpkin stuff. With Levon and Michael here. Go on, Larry. Do it all, all on right. <laughs> let's go up to, looks like, I want to say 42. Let's go left. 45. Let's try it. So 38.5 kilos left here. Let's see what he's got. Mm, not that nope. So a significant difference between his right and left. We saw him do the 50. 51 kilos on the right. And he got it pretty comfortably. Yes. Okay. How much is that? 40. Okay. 40? 40 kilos 40 there on the left. left. 52.5 with the right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference. Okay. Um, now let's add a 10 kg plate, but we divide by two to do a pulley. Alright, so we're going back to the right arm now. We're going for another PR. So you can see the 10 kilo plate on there. Five kilos added to the 51. This should be 56 kilos. Yep, 56 kilos. Perfect. Here we go. Man, if he gets this, nah, I'm not gonna have him. Not gonna have him. So happy with that. So that's awesome. Seriously, 51 kilos is a very, very, very would be massive. The old straight back pressure. Yes. Oh, yes. There you go. There you go. 56? Say again. 40 kg. So we got 56 uh, kgs on the back pressure with Levan and Michael present. And to give you some uh, perspective, uh, my PR is 60, 62. Uh, Lachlan's PR is 75. Um, yeah. So here we go. Let's see what we can get. He's got 51. It moved. Mm -hmm. But the table's moving a lot. So yeah, it is. To it's a tricky lift, this uh, one. It's one of those, somebody has to hold the table one of those things where a yeah. little bit of form and, and, and that, and, or difference in yeah. form makes makes a pretty significant difference to your ability to lift it. Um, Under the table, Sharif. <laughs> <laughs> but if he's got all the same attachment points and, and everything, it should be pretty consistent. Alright, so he's added the 10 kilo plate again, so I think he's at 56 kilos now. Very low, uh, the, the angle of, the, of his cable there relative to his arm is going to make it hard for him. It's going to put it on his wrist, but oh, look at that, he's done it. Nice, nice. 56. Nice. Counts. All right, he's added another 10 kilo plate, so we're at 61. No, he can't get it. Nope. Man, he's making it hard for himself on the way he's holding that. It's, it's, it's really buckling down his wrist, it's, uh, as opposed to that, just being through the next finger and thumb. I think you'd get more. Um, and I like, I'm not sure, you can see the, the angle of his arm relative to the, um, the cables kind of 
it's not 90 degrees. I, I think he'd, I think he'd probably be even stronger if he got to the proper 90 degrees. He's quite open at the moment, so it's, it's buckling his wrist. But um, I'm not sure what he, what angle he had when he was the first time I missed it in comparison. But either way, he's looking strong. <laughs> he's looking strong. It's impressive that his wrist can handle the 50. Um, what did he do? 51. He managed to lift. Now we'll go 45. 45? Yeah. Again, guys, look at what he's doing there with it. He, it it's threatening the top of his knuckle, so um, this is, he's making it harder for himself 45. here, so it's very impressive that he's able to do those numbers. But right here, hook strength. Oh, come on, Larry. This is an interesting one. Um, Good. Yeah. This is really just a wrist yeah, flexion is. test. There's, there's right. no side pressure this is resistance. Our third test so far passing the flying colors. This is a hook pinning test. You can bring it with two hands, start from here, and go for the pin. We don't have the pad. This so is one, uh, he's starting with, just, if, if he's starting with his wrist yeah, straight, exactly. it's going to be difficult. If he curls in around it, it's, he's going to go up for like 80 exactly. kilos if he curls in. But, find out. I don't know. 53 <laughs> last time. Right, um, but I think he's starting wrist straight, so we'll see. It looks like it's about inch. a don't waste your energy. I know that's two and a half oh, inch, maybe two inch handle. Oh. Rolling handle. 43 kilos. Alright, so he's starting with the wrist pretty much straight, just a slight bend. Doing that pretty comfy, that's a warm-up for go. him. That's nice numbers. So I think with my wrist straight, I think I'm, what am I like? I don't yeah, have a comparable lift on that handle, but I know like 70 kilos is, no, 80 kilos is what I can do if I, on an on a ultra fat grip, when I, when I start. Uh, Lachlan and the Dare used to do these lifts, um, but I think with a two and a half inch handle, that's, they're good numbers, they're really, the good numbers that he's doing here. That was definitely a 10. Mm -hmm. Just add a 10. Up he goes, so 56 kilos. Oh, he's lost, oh. His, <laughs> he's lost his plate. 56 kilos again. Oh, yeah, he's comfortable. His hand is oh, not being on. threatened yet at all. Um, like I said, there's no resistance on side pressure in this movement. It's, it's very much just a wrist flexion exercise. Can you stabilize your wrist flexion? Um, 61. I think you'll get it based on that last lift. It looked pretty comfy. Okay, it's starting to be threatened. The wrist is starting to be threatened. There we go. Yes. This is one of those ones where once you've got control and yes. you've got the feel of it, you'll, you'll move it. on. Often that first movement is the difficult one. Um, What's he got? 66 kilos now. Right, this is getting to the point <laughs> end. Yeah. You can see, the first rep's the hard rep. If he gets it moving, the come second on. one, the third rep, he's gonna do it. He's gonna oh, do come it. Easy. On. There we go. He's got it. Yeah. yeah. So his hand is able to hold on to 66. I think he's got more in him. He keeps on going. Oh, he stopped down the right. So come on. 66 kilos. I think he could have gone further. Um, so close. There you go. Big, big improvements. So guys, this is to assess how strong my chest is on the table. Oh my goodness. I'm essentially- I, I've never done this list, so I can't give you any comparable numbers, but- my um, elbow. Elbow base. From here. Heck, man, he's gonna have right a ton of that stuff. And now it counts as a rep. Oh my goodness. Right? <laughs> so it does make a difference how strong your chest is and how strong your side pressure is. Right? If you're stuck on the table, you're neutral. Either you're gonna top roll or you're gonna Dude, look at Larry's you looking so hook. built. I know, I know that's Larry Wheels we're talking Using about. Of course, Larry Wheels looks built, but man, look at the in. connective tissue in his forearms your there. Opponent, uh, hand if outside this of dude shoulder, legitimately wakes up the neurological efficiencies to right the here. full degree, and he, so and he stays in love with the sport, right I genuinely think Larry's going to be... My elbow. I think he's going to achieve what he wants. I think he's going to be at the pointy end pretty quick. He needs, he needs someone to hold that table down. <laughs> the 51 kilos there, that's, Try that again, though. that's good. I, I, like I, said, I have no idea what this lift, I've never measured this lift for myself personally. I'm not a, 
I'm not a chest based guy at all so I think I would get very low on this. Um, Larry obviously a world standard chest based strength athlete so he's gonna crush this. I know people like Krastomir Kostadino are big on chest strength. He, he really rates that. I know Lachlan Adair is another one. <laughs> he's, he's wrecking the gym. 61 oh. kilos there. Yeah, he's got it. the table's lifting up now. He needs he needs someone to stand on the table. I think the table's gonna flip. He's not gonna do it. He, he's strong enough to do it, but I think the table's gonna flip. 66 kilos. Ready for the flip table? Yeah. I think he, I think he might be able to What's up, guys? No. We are wrapping up today. We did four Mazarenko strength test movements. First one was the finger strength Mazarenko test, and then we did what was it? Back pressure. Then we did hook. How much I can pin in a hook with a Mazarenko handle with this one. And lastly, chest side pressure. I've made significant improvement on all of them with only six weeks of training with uh, using Coach Race programming. So I'm very happy. It's only been a very short period of time. I love to see what I can do in three months, six months, and a year. So I'll give another update in uh, say about three months to see where I'm at because I did have some noob gains because I just got on the program. But now that the new games probably have come to a halt, uh, not entirely, but uh, that's why each time I do a test, it'll be longer and longer before the next one. So three months, six months, a year, and see, see where I'm at. Uh, I may be having a big match on May 29th, as well as Michael Todd and Devin Laurent. Mm -hmm. So comment down below, who do you want me to have a match with? Because we have a few names in the cards, a few people who are interested, but we haven't talked to anybody just yet. So we're going to listen to you, the people, and see who do you think will be a good match for me. Ooh, Comment down. That's below. exciting. On that note, check out purelifestyles.com for all my merch, everything except the figure eight straps, because you guys love them, are sold out. And we do have some new merch coming, so stay tuned for that. Peace. Good stuff, Larry. All right, you can see there Larry's video. Um, he talks about some noob gains that he's made. I don't know, someone do the math. I think Larry might have just like he's approaching the 44% magic mark and on a couple of those lifts um, and yeah he's gonna I think he's still got more new gains to go on a few of those things most impressive for me um, was the the fingers 56 or whatever he did was very impressive I think that's significantly more um, than than I can do on that handle I don't think I can do that I think I'm in the in the 40s on that handle. It's been a long time since I've tested it. His back pressure is not too bad. Um, the hook thing showed his wrist flexion solid. The chest thing, I have no idea. I've never done that. But all in all, it's it's obvious. Larry's making gains um, and Larry's um, becoming more attuned to the sport specifically. And uh, very excitingly, and most importantly, you can see Larry asking for comments on who should Larry face in Dubai. Hmm. Man, there's so many people that I could face. Um, <laughs> man, look, Larry, I'd love to volunteer, but uh, and 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 I would, I think it, he and I would be an interesting match. I think I would be too experienced for him, but I think that it would be fun. <laughs> but anyway, balance matches. If I had to pick a balance match for Larry, um, oh man, I. It's interesting, do you, do you go into the his weight division, which is the super heavyweight division, and give him um, somebody that's similar level, a touch more experienced, um, or do we give him a, a, a more of a killer that's a, a lightweight? Um, it's interesting. I think that Larry needs starts, and, and for it to be a genuinely good super match, which is what you want it to be, if it's going to be a super match, you don't want it to be a whitewash one way or the other. Um, this is Neil Pickup's entire life is spent on picking balanced matches. So for Larry, I mean, a, a balanced match that is someone that is um, quite notorious for for good marketing as well. Oh uh, man, it's, man, I, I think Larry on my left. My left with Larry would probably be really interesting. He's clearly stronger than me. But I have the experience and the know-how to do the little things right. Um, I think left, Larry and I would be a really interesting match. I think right, my arm um, would be too experienced, um, too specifically strong in the critical areas. So it would be a bad match for Larry on right. But my left would be good for Larry on, in, a, in a super match. And right, I'm going to say... 
Oh my goodness. Who am I gonna say? I'd like to see someone... Okay, I'm gonna go a lighter weight killer. I would like to see... I'd like to see Larry pull Jeff Hale. There we go. Jeff Hale on right for me. I think Jeff's size is gonna be the equalizer. Jeff clearly is an elite arm wrestler in his own respect and weight category. Um, Larry may be strong enough with his longer arm, bigger hand to prevent that and, and cause it to be a great equalizer. Um, that would be, um, that, that would be my guess. Yeah, Jeff Hale, that's on we go. All right, Larry, if you pull Jeff Hale, I want credit for suggesting the match because um, Jeff's a killer. He's a marketing absolute monster. He'll never let you down there. And he's, uh, he's just a, a badass arm wrestler at the same time. So anyway, good stuff, Larry. Well done on all the improvements. Keep doing what you're doing. I, I love seeing it. And um, it's just awesome that uh, Larry, uh, that you have really gotten into this sport. Excited to see where you'll go. My predictions, I think you'll get to where you're aiming for. The top five in North America, I think you'll do within three years. And if, can you get to the top? Mm, yeah, we'll see where we are after the three years. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that one. I know I did. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Yes, that's a bit!